I know how this yard sale stuff works. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can yeah, just... my other house over there. Yard sale is glad and very simple. What is happening, buddy? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another garage sale adventure. We have a really, really fun video for you guys today. All that you will see, the entire video is just from one single sale. You guys have watched me already know that if it's a one single sale video, that there has to be a really good sale. And this sale was incredible. It happened on a Friday here in Pinellas Park, Florida. And we score absolutely huge. Looking at thousands of dollars in profit. Thousands of dollars in profit just from one single sale. This sale was just amazing. It was what dreams are made of. It was a gold mine. It was just absolute insanity. There's nothing more for me to say. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Can I place my stuff over here that I want? Yeah. Pull it forward just a little bit. Not a problem. He said there is stuff in the garage in the back that he opened. Oh, okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. So I think right here, probably a lot of you guys are wondering, like, Paul, why aren't you just getting all the squish? What are you doing? Like, shouldn't you just be grabbing all of them? Um, I don't know the prices of these things yet. So that's why I'm not grabbing all of them. I haven't really asked for the prices. I don't know if they're reasonable or not. So I'm just grabbing the unique ones that I think are cool and leaving all the other basic ones behind. But then you will see later on, once I figure out the prices, I do go back and grab some of the ones that I missed. So don't worry. I do grab most of them at the end. Yeah.
You happen to have any like video games or Pokemon cards? Pokemon cards, I think she's got some. I just tried to call her. She should be right around the corner. I okay. her calling me back. Yeah, we tried to get ready for this. We pushed it a couple of weeks, and uh -huh. we're still not quite ready, and there's a lot of stuff. Well, it's a lot of... You already got a lot, a lot out, so... <laughs> Okay. We're probably going to be having yard sales like this from the better part of this of 2024. Oh wow! Okay. Lots, lots of stuff that we haven't even gone through yet. Is this your personal stuff, or you guys like buy storage units, or? Um, so my father passed away in February. He was a collector. Ah, oh, okay. Order, mostly collector. I'd say mostly collector. A little bit of a order. That's always a thin line between yeah. the between yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had a lot of storage units. Okay, so you got out. a bunch of stuff to go through. Yeah. So a lot of what's in this garage behind here. Okay. It's just the stuff that's not out yet. It's just stuff that we slammed in there from the storage units that we don't even know what's there. We haven't even. Yeah, no, I understand. Because we're we had my mom has Alzheimer's, so we're living at her house. Wow. Um, and that place was. So we're still going through stuff over there. Gotcha. Um, it's been a year that we've been steady going through this stuff, and we probably got another year before we get through everything. Right. So I buy and sell for a living. So if like, okay. I, if you want me to come through, and I will usually will buy a bunch of times. So sure. I buy like stuffed animals, you see, toys, video games, action figures, Pokemon cards, all that stuff. So okay. If you have any of that stuff, I would. Yeah, yeah. man. Um, <laughs> once we get freed up. From here, I can just let you walk you through the other garage yeah. uh, in your own time and see if there's anything that you yeah, want. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. 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 So the garage is back there. Yes, sir. Okay. Do I have to move? Oh, yeah. No, 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 you're yeah. good. Okay. I'm just looking at the end of this right. before. My son was going to move that and he forgot, so yeah. that's a lot of fun. How much is your candle? Whatever you want to give me for it. It's really cool. I don't see a we mark put, on it, but we used to it's put right that there. up at our house when I was, uh, yeah. since my earliest memory. Yeah. So, like, I was born in 71, so that's probably. Cool. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's 60s for sure. Yeah. Do you have anything else like this? Like at the other house. Well, like Santa's or like it was uh, a manger scene. Manger scene? scene, but it was all it's the same. It's the same uh, style. Same yeah. Plastic cap. I would probably uh, it's, it's called a uh, blow mold. Yeah. That's right. But, I was trying to think of the word. Yeah. It wouldn't come to me. So. I, I would buy. I would buy all of it from you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Some of it was busted beyond repair that we threw away, but we kept the one. No, it, most of them are from what's say yeah. 60 stuff. So like e even this uh, has like cracks and stuff on it, but I think people will still like it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Candle holder down. <laughs> yeah. It was worthless, anyway. That's all we really were doing. Right. <laughs> Could be way worse, right? <laughs> yes, that price was worth it. So this is some vintage uh, hair perm, <laughs> uh, vintage hair perm that's like super old and some of this stuff has some decent value. This one wasn't the greatest, it's for about 15 bucks uh, a box, but I have nine boxes so I was really happy to pick up all those. It's about $130 in there. Then the black boxes in there are all vintage hair dye. They sell for about 10 to $15 a box and I have seven boxes there. So what I'm about to pick up right now is it has about a $200 in value in this box alone. You saw on the mower too? The no, electric Yeah. Do you have any batteries with it? No. No, we looked up online, the battery and the charger on Amazon was like a hundred bucks. Yeah. That's what I have for my own house and I'm always looking for extra batteries for it. No. The batteries are so expensive for these yep. things. Yep.
size 15. Yeah. Not big enough. <laughs> oh, we're 16s. Wow. It's a tough, tough life. <laughs> My mom was trying to be an eBayer. Yeah. So that's what I did for them. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a tough way to survive. Seems like a lot of hassle for not a lot of yeah. She, so she I, I would advise video. against it, but I'm already too too full into it. She so. saw some video, some guy said, if you find great big giant shoes that are a good brand and good quality, you should definitely buy them because they're very hard to find nice shoes for large feet, right? So we find these Nike cleats at the Goodwill, <laughs> brand new for six bucks. They don't even look like they've ever been on anybody. Yeah. Why it, do I have to have them? That was like two years ago. It, it, it's a double-edged sword because they are hard to find, but then there's also not that many people that are size 50 looking for shoes. And they don't fit in a flat rate yeah, box either, just so, saying. <laughs> They're too so, big for a flat rate box. Yeah. I, I don't use flat rate. It's it's At this point, it's too expensive to even use flat I rate. I I tell her, she's always like, oh, if you have anything you want me to eBay, I'm like, I'm not eBaying anything. I don't have no. applications for that. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. It's it's not it's not as easy as people think it is. <laughs> Eat from all of it. <laughs> Yesterday I did find two when I was going through them that didn't have discs in them. So. Yep, okay, so. When I found that, it had the original tag still in it. Hold on, let me see if it's still in there. The original oh, wow. receipt from Dillard's from like 2007. That's crazy. <laughs> the receipt itself is probably worth something. Yeah, no kidding, right? That's so cool. Wow. Old receipts are worth something. I should have yeah. you a few, few, uh, few months ago. It's called ephemera. <laughs> house out we found receipts from where they paid their water bill in 1965. That's worth something. <laughs> Thank you. It was where space in the trash can. <laughs> it went in the fire is what it went in. <laughs> Whole this... office full of receipts from like the 60s and the 50s. Thank you. Thank you. So I pick up some vintage Vans Levi, Levi, Levi shoes here, L-A-V-I shoes. Um, they're vintage and they're old and I really had a hard time finding the, the same exact ones that I had on eBay or on Posh. I found similar ones that sold for $50, $30, $70, uh, even $100 on Grailed. So I don't know what I'm going to list mine for. I think I'm just going to probably bring them to Whatnot, start them at 5 bucks, and see where they go. Uh, but they are really, uh, they're vintage and they're rare and they can sell for a lot of money. Were you just driving by? No. You guys are on uh, Yard Sale Treasure Map. Yes. Yard Sale Treasure Map. She was in responsible for all of my advertisement. She did and, good. and all but that one was removed, apparently. Yeah, really? Right. All her Facebook posts were taken down. Offer Facebook Up was taken down. Groups. Why? Um, Offer Up took it down because it was an advertisement. And the then, Facebook even groups though, you have I to advertise I one thing specific, in the listing, not a sale. I specify things in the listing so it doesn't get taken down, and they flagged it. A bunch of Facebook groups flagged it for advertisements, which is That's weird. so I weird. People do that all the time. Yeah. But then when I want to do mine, they're like, I, I find yard sales on Facebook all the time, so I don't know why I think that yeah. one down. Yeah. Marketplace took it down. Really? Marketplace took it down. Must have been a really good ad. Right? I guess must, so. You must have done a really good job. <laughs> So now that I know they're willing to deal on prices and they're very negotiable with things, I'm going to go back and pick up some of the squish panels that I left behind and some vintage uh, plush as well. All these squish and all these things go in my whatnot auction. I do winner's choice plush lots, uh, winner's choice pick two, and a lot of these sold uh, at these lots right there. So I got probably an average of about 5 to $15 per them here. But as you see, my pile is just huge. So pretty much they're costing me pennies at this point. Make sure you guys stick around again till the end till you see what I pay for all this stuff. You will not believe the price. It was an absolutely amazing, amazing deal. Think I'm ready, sir? Alright. Yeah. Clothes, shoes, toys, toys, lots. Action figures, video games, all that stuff. But she's gotta count out on them. Yeah. I have to count, I'm no risk. 
Uh oh. If you want to take my number. Yeah. Let's do that. We already have probably 30 large moving boxes of stuff like this that we sorted through that we yeah. just didn't get no, it, 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 years it's, piled up in a wall. <laughs> you said you're going to be doing this for a, for a year probably. At least a year, yeah. Do you want a calculator? A hundred? That's just gonna I was gonna offer you guys. So that's perfect. perfect. <laughs> I know how this yard sale stuff works. <laughs> I was gonna say. I yeah, just... my other house over there, we would have a yard sale twice a year. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we are back in um, the whatnot streaming room. Is what I call this room. I have a room in my house just fully dedicated uh, to whatnot. This whole room is just fully dedicated to whatnot. I stream from here, I go live from here. I put all my whatnot stuff into here. We just, it is back. Uh, it, we're not outside because as you see, it's dark out there. If you guys wanna move through, see it's dark. It's dark out there. So not the best streaming thing. Um, we just, fit, we had our whatnot show today. So finished packing that, now we're here finishing the video i'm gonna do a little wrap up from here i hope you guys enjoyed that nearly as much as i enjoyed shopping it that was great and the best part about it is that i exchanged information with uh, the seller and we'll be going in the future to hopefully do a private pick there and find some more incredible stuff but holy moly what a yard sale all the squish you can ever think of a lot of cool shoes vintage shoes um, uh, video games, uh, vintage Christmas, vintage Disney, vintage HBA, vintage ceramic stuff, uh, uh, blow mold, you just, you name it. Um, uh, oh, po uh, purses, Dooney and Burke, Coach, Sorrel, Vans, uh, Toy Story, she, like it's insane how much stuff we found at, at that sale, especially like on a Friday. Oh man, it felt good. Those sales, those sales hit. Those sales definitely hit. So uh, that was incredible. Hopefully we can find more of those here in our area in the future. And a reminder guys, this video is gonna come out to you guys on Wednesday, March 27th. On Thursday, March 28th, I'm having another big whatnot show. All of these shirts are gonna be sold on my show starting at $3. I have a bunch of really cool vintage. I have graphic t-shirts. Panic at the Disco up in here. So you got Pepsi, you got Guy Harvey, uh, Game of Thrones, Tequila Time. This is a really cool vintage Levi shirt. We got Friends up in here, vintage Florida shirt. Vintage hot tub shirt, that's kind of cool. Crushing it, I like that one. Friday, um, Seinfeld, another vintage Florida shirt over here. Scooby Doo down here, you name it, Mr. Beast. Uh, awesome, awesome shirts. We're gonna have 100 shirts total. 100 shirts total going up for a bid tomorrow uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern. I don't think the show should last more than two hours. I think we should be done about then. We're doing $3 start, uh, 10 seconds by sudden death. So we're gonna be going through them like this. I'm trying to move, like I said, I got a bunch recently. Just bought a bunch recently. I don't like to hold on to things. I like to uh, now maximize my time instead of my value for things. So I, I buy a bunch, I wanna sell a bunch and flip on to the next deal and the next deal and give you guys a chance to make some money or give you guys a chance to get some cool shirts for pretty cheap. So guys, come to my show tomorrow, Thursday, uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it should be a blast, it should be a blast. You don't have to come and buy as well. You can just come and hang out. People like to come and hang out and just uh, watch me be goofy, I guess. You guys can do that as well. Anyway, that's gonna be it from me, guys. I'll see you guys on Friday with another video. Until then, he's my dog, Sasha. Peace out.